My name is Alejandro Gutierrez. I'm from Far Texas, and I'm a Spanish major. Seguin is kind of like the valley, except maybe the economy is a little bit worse. Um, as for being around uh, a more diversity team, more diversity school, that was completely different coming from a Hispanic-based city, Hispanic-based school. So I was in a little culture shock, but. Uh, the guys were great, they welcomed me in, I made some great friends, and I just love being here since day one. like playing uh, baseball uh, at Texas Lutheran? I love it. I mean, that's what's kept me here. Uh, that's what's helping me strive for my education, strive for being a better person and being a better player on the field. Uh, most enjoyment I get is being around the guys. They're a great group of guys. Um, they're, one of, they're some of my best friends. We see each other every day. I see them more than my family do, so since I miss my family so much, they are my second family, and they keep me humble, they keep me honest, and I just love being around the guys. Okay, I'm a migrant tutor for Seguin ISD. Uh, I tutor kids that are labeled at risk, meaning they're failing their classes, they're constantly moving, or Maybe they come from low-income families. So for some of the kids, I'm just a mentor. Uh, I talk to them a lot, talk to them about what's going on outside of school, just kind of distract them from uh, their problems. A lot of them, I help them in any subject they need because a lot of them are mainly Spanish speakers or different, another language. So they, they have trouble because they just moved here and they don't really have friends. So I kind of become their friend and kind of help motivate them, like, hey, it's possible, you can do it, all you need to do is work hard, and, and I guide them through, through their work. Work in English, or how right. does that work? Uh, most of them can speak English. Uh, the ones that can't, I have to talk to them in Spanish, but most of them can speak English, which is good, and most of them struggle with like, English, because they can't read well, they can't speak fluently, or math, because they can't process right. I have my two parents, my dad's from McAllen, Texas, born and raised, and my mom is from Mexico, so which is that border, border town where I'm from, the city right next to Far Texas or McAllen, Texas. I have my brother and my sister, and I'm the youngest. Um, my both of my parents were migrants growing up. Um, we weren't labeled as migrants because we were fortunate enough that my parents both knew both English and Spanish, so they kind of helped us uh, into that stage of learning how to speak both and learning how to get the best of both worlds. And I've had their support since day one. They supported me through my education. They were kind of uh, raised through that stage where education wasn't an option or a priority. They had to work. So they knew what it's like and the struggle that they had to go through when they weren't able to get their education and they wanted to make sure that I got mine and I wasn't going to struggle just like they did. I graduated in May and I plan on going to grad school. I want to either study Mexican-American studies or be a study bilingual communication. Uh, I've heard of some great opportunities of being a translator maybe in a courtroom, maybe for the government or just I just maybe want to be a professor in the college classroom and teach Mexican-American studies.